Your arms are primarily made up of three muscles, the shoulders, biceps, and triceps, and each of these muscles can be further divided into multiple muscle heads. With the shoulder, you have three heads that make up a front, middle, and back portion. Then the bicep has two heads, a long head and a short head, and the tricep has three heads, including a long head, a lateral head, and a medial head. To target all of these muscles for optimal arm development, you'll have to incorporate a variety of exercises. But if you don't have access to a gym, it becomes much more challenging to train your arms, and that's especially the case with muscles like your biceps. So that's why today I want to go over the nine best exercises that you can do to develop your arms at home without the use of traditional gym equipment like barbells, dumbbells, and cables. And at the end of the video, I'll also provide specific sets and reps for each exercise so you can perform them together as a workout. Now, the very first exercise that I want to start with is going to be a bicep exercise. And honestly, if you're only using your body weight, the amount of exercise options that you have for your biceps will be pretty limited without gym equipment. Of course, you can do pull-ups, but for that, you'll need a pull-up bar. There are also exercises like bicep push-ups, but those target mostly your triceps and shoulders and aren't very effective for the biceps. You can raise your upper body up on two platforms to help target your biceps better, but this still doesn't allow for proper flexion of the elbow joint through a full range of motion. Instead, it's more of an isometric contraction. So for your first bicep exercise, we're gonna use a doorway for single arm doorway rows. To set this one up, you would stand in front of the doorway with the door open and your feet close to the frame of the door. Then with one hand, grab the frame and slowly lean back until your elbow is fully extended. You wanna do your best to keep your hips in a straight line with your head and your feet. And then once you're in position, you're gonna pull your body up towards the frame with one arm. Then slowly lower back down and repeat for reps. Keep in mind that the further you walk your feet forward around the frame, the more you'll be leaning back and the more challenging that this exercise will become. So this is very similar to how TRX rows work. Next, we have a great bodyweight tricep exercise, the plank up down. To begin, you'll get down into a push-up position while concentrating on keeping your core tight. Then lift one hand off the floor, bend your arm, and lower yourself down on that forearm. From there, repeat the same process on the other side so that you're now down on both elbows in a traditional plank position. Then alternate sides once again by extending the elbow that you originally lowered to the ground, pressing yourself up, and planting your hand in place of your forearm. Then repeat the same thing on the other side and repeat for reps. Now, each time that you perform the next rep, you'll wanna alternate the side that you lower yourself down on first. Even though it may sound like it requires a lot of coordination, it really doesn't. You're just going right, left, right, left, then left, right, left, right, then repeat. Worst case, if you're having trouble with the coordination, you can finish all of your reps on one side and then move on to the other. Let's move on to another bicep exercise. And before beginning this time, you'll first need a book bag, handbag, or a gym bag. Like I said, with biceps, it's pretty difficult to target them without weights. So even though a book bag may look silly, it's truly one of the best ways to hit your biceps without gym equipment. There are some home workouts that'll have you use something like a towel to create resistance with your legs. But the way the resistance feels is really awkward. And like I said before, it's almost impossible to keep constant tension on your muscles with exercises like that. However, curling heavy weight in a book bag can almost be just as effective as regular bicep curls at the gym. So load your book bag with some heavy objects that'll weigh it down. Then grab the hand strap at the top of the book bag and stand straight up with your elbow extended and the weight hanging straight down. You'll want to lean slightly forward so that your legs don't get in the way of the book bag. And while keeping your elbow tight to your ribs, curl the book bag up towards your shoulder. As you come up, you want to try to turn your pinky up towards the ceiling to really increase bicep activation. Then slowly lower back down and repeat for reps. Now, if you don't have a book bag, don't worry, you'll be able to do this next one, which is the hammer curl. For this exercise, you'll need some heavy objects, preferably with handles. A couple examples include laundry detergent jugs, gallon jugs of water, or even a bucket that you could fill with other heavy objects. You'll also need something you can pass through the handles, like a towel, a leash, or a belt. So if you're using gallons like me, you'll wanna thread your towel, leash, or belt through the handles and then grab both ends in one hand. Then stand straight up and let your arm and the gallon jugs hang straight down. From there, lean slightly forward to allow for a full range of motion and curl the belt or towel up towards your shoulder with your hand in a neutral position, so your thumb is facing up. Then slowly lower back down and repeat for reps. 
Now, keep in mind, each gallon weighs about eight pounds. So you'll most likely need a few of them to really fatigue your biceps. But once again, even though this exercise might look silly with a slightly higher rep count, you can get a great pump and have a very effective arm workout. Also, if you happen to have enough gallon jugs or other heavy objects, you can use both arms at the same time and alternate side to side for hammer curls. Next, we have one of the best tricep exercises that you can still do without the use of traditional gym equipment, dips. To perform dips at home, you'll only need two sturdy chairs that are the same height and that don't tip when pushed down on. Regular folding steel chairs are great for this, and if you wanna be extra safe, you can put something heavy on each chair to ensure that it won't tip over. To begin, you'll stand in between the chairs facing away from each other and place your hands on the chairs with your arms extended. Then raise your feet off the ground and begin slowly lowering yourself down by bending your elbows. To help target the triceps more rather than the chest, you wanna to try to keep your chest pointed forward as best as you can. Lower yourself down until your shoulders are about even with your elbows or a little lower and then press back up to that original starting position with your elbows locked out. Then simply repeat for reps. We can also use the book bag from before for some really great tricep exercises, starting first with the overhead tricep extensions. To begin, just like before, you're gonna make sure that the bag is filled with some heavy objects, and then you're gonna grab the left shoulder strap with your right hand and the right strap with your left hand. From there, swing the book bag behind your head so that your elbows are bent and your forearms are about parallel with the floor or even a little lower. Then extend your elbows and raise the book bag over your head until your arms are just about locked out. As you're doing this, you wanna make sure that your elbows are staying nice and tight together rather than flaring out. Then once you're almost at lockout, slowly lower the book bag back down until your hands are slightly lower than your elbows and repeat for reps. Now, very similar to this exercise, you can also do it with one arm at a time. This can be especially effective if you don't have enough weight to make it challenging enough for both your arms and it's performed at a slightly different angle so it can help hit your triceps in a different way. To do it, you'll grab both straps in one hand and once again, swing the book bag behind your head, except now instead of the book bag hanging directly behind you, it's gonna be angled towards your opposite shoulder. From there, just like before, you're gonna extend your elbow until your arm is almost locked out over your head and then lower the book bag back down behind your head in the direction of your opposite shoulder until your forearm is a little lower than parallel and then extend and repeat for reps. Another bicep and back exercise that you can do if you have a sturdy table at home is the inverted row. Now at my gym, I didn't have an ideal table because it was narrow and it wasn't the sturdiest, but I wanted to show you guys how this is done anyway. However, it's important for me to mention that without using some heavy weights as a counterbalance, narrow tables won't work because they can easily tip over. So make sure that you're using a sturdy wide table or some other furniture in your house that'll allow you to get into an inverted row position. In either case, you'll get under the table with your hands holding onto the edge, your arms extended, and your body in a relatively straight line from your feet on the ground all the way up to your upper back. Then you're simply gonna pull your chest up to the table by retracting your shoulders and driving your elbows back as you flex your biceps. Once you raise yourself up to the table, slowly lower back down and repeat for reps. Finally, for our last two exercises, we'll wanna target the shoulders. Now, your shoulders will get plenty of work throughout the rest of this workout, but these last two exercises will wanna target the shoulders more directly, starting first with the front and the middle portion of your shoulder. For this one, we'll be performing the pike push-up. Even though you can do these on the ground, your head will get in the way of a full range of motion. So, I recommend setting up platforms that can help you elevate your body off the ground. All you need is two chairs and something like your couch to put your feet up on. So place your feet on one platform and then place each of your hands on the other two so that you're in an elevated push-up position. Then raise your hips up and get into a downward dog position. From there, you wanna bend your elbows and lower yourself down slowly until you feel a nice stretch in your chest and shoulders. Then press yourself back up until you're back to the original starting position and repeat for reps. Last but not least, for the back of the shoulders and for the back muscles in general, we're gonna do Superman lat pulldowns. To begin, you'll lay down on the ground flat on your stomach with your arms straight over your head and your legs extended below you. Then simultaneously raise your upper body and your lower body off the ground at the same time and hold it there. Once you're in that position, you're gonna slowly pull your elbows down towards your legs as if you're mimicking a lat pull down motion. 
When you bring your arms all the way back, you'll also want to really squeeze your shoulder blades nice and tight together. Then slowly extend your arms back up above your head and lower your upper and lower body back down towards the ground. Then repeat for reps. So that about wraps it up for our in-home arm workout. As you can see, simply by using some objects like a book bag, a belt, and a couple gallons of water, you can get a great arm workout right at home when you don't have access to a gym. For most of these exercises, you'll wanna shoot for about 10 to 20 reps. This is all dependent on how much weight you can add to the exercises. If you don't have enough weight, you will have to go for a higher rep count. So 10 to 20 reps will be good for all the exercises except plank up downs, which you'll time for a minute if you're alternating sides or 30 seconds on each side. I recommend that you do each exercise for two to three sets before moving on to the next to make this workout more effective. That about wraps it up guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Also, if you're looking for a done for you plan that requires no trial and error and includes a full meal plan that's based around your preferences, whether that be intermittent fasting, keto, one meal a day, vegan, vegetarian, or whatever your preference is, our programs have you covered. They'll also come with a complete workout plan with an in-home and an in-gym version and with a full video exercise library so you're never left confused. Finally, you'll also get an accountability coach that'll be there to guide you through the entire process. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description or you can visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon. Pumping.